So I'm going to talk a little bit about my arrangement of my funny Valentine. But first, I just want to, as a side note, I want to tell you the many things that I have done in the world of music in my life. Uh, I was a side man in lots of rock and roll bands. Uh, I did commercial jingles with my best friend, Greg Novick, who, who wrote the jingles, and I did string arrangements for that. I was in Bootsy's Rubber Band for a very brief time. I played in jazz sessions. I've been a church organist, choir director. So this is, this is sort of like my present to myself, the opportunity to write these arrangements and kind of share this music with everybody else. So to begin with, uh, I'm going to do my talk about my arrangement of My Funny Valentine, and I will tell you that it has a, a line in it implied in the chords, which is... Which is exactly how I opened it, opened the song up. It starts like this. Now, that musical descending half-step um, pattern is, it goes back very far in, in the history of music, um, particularly in the Baroque period when uh, just about everybody was doing uh, variations on uh, that descending line or, or rounds on, that, on this line. And the f most famous example of that, and this, the example that's usually cited, is Henry Purcell from his opera Dido and Aeneas, um, and I think the title of the particular aria is "When I When I Am Laid Am Laid in My Tomb," and it has that descending line. It's so it it adds a a, a, a bit of negativism to the song, which which I find partic particularly attractive. So I just want to say. A, a few words about the space that we recorded in. It's the church that I'm now attending. It's Emmanuel Church downtown, Episcopal Church. It's a fabulous uh, place. And we have, uh, the rector is amazing. And this, the space is gorgeous. And it's a, just a really wonderful place for me to be when I'm worshiping. And obviously it's, it was wonderful of them to allow us to come in here and do this recording. So. This is my arrangement of My Funny Valentine. Mm -hmm. 